Hey there, my name is Eric and I'm with Ticket Spice and I'm gonna show you our virtual events platform using Ticket Spice for how you can sell tickets to a live stream, a meet and greet, or any digital content. So what we're looking at here is a sample page I've created. Now this is not a real event. However, this actually is my real brother and he really is in a band called Elvi with Matt Berninger from The National. Uh, they have not been touring, producing music for a little while, so this is not real, but their music is really good, so check them out. But I'm using them as an example here for what you can do. So this is the page I built, and I'll show you how I built this in a minute, but we have our logo, we have our masthead here, we have our ticket levels, um, we've got a general access, and then we have a VIP access ticket level that's gonna give me access to a meet and greet as well behind here. And then we have our billing information, our coupon codes, and so forth. So uh, from here, I can see a countdown clock for when the live stream is gonna begin. Uh, you also could set this to instant access to where there is no countdown clock and anybody who, who buys a ticket has instant access to it if you wanna do it that way. Um, but people can see what, how much time's left, they can go and register, get their tickets and move forward. If they already have a ticket, they're gonna be issued a, a, an access token to get into the digital area. And so when it's time for the event, they go and hit uh, join access. They'll also get an email reminder for it too. And they enter in their access code here. And so every ticket that's issued is also gonna be issued a unique access token that can only be used once. And uh, we enforce it by IP address. So there's no sharing of the live stream and getting access to it. Uh, We've got, got great technology around that. And if they lost it, they can hit uh, lost their code and their email address and get into it. So I'll show you what the back end side of the virtual events looks like in a minute. But I just wanted to show you kind of what we're starting with here and what the experience you could have. Uh, unlimited ticket levels, you could have merchandise, you have donations, you could have any number of different things here. So let me show you how I built this and we'll go over some of the controls. So moving over here to the tab uh, on the left hand side here, this is the dashboard for where you can manage all of your events. You can do uh, in-person events, you can do virtual events or uh, live events if you like. So uh, this is just our little dummy dashboard here that shows me all my open pages. Uh, if I wanna create a new page, you hit new page here, you give it a name, you uh, can then choose, is this gonna be an in-person one or a digital one? And we call it digital because you can give it instant access or on a certain date, so you can choose that. Uh, you can choose a number of attendees. You go next, you would choose a logo to drag. I'll just drop this one in here. Go next, you can choose a particular theme. Uh, we can grab a sample one here. And so now I'm in the builder, which allows me to build my virtual event. Uh, so I'm gonna take you through a couple options here. The first thing on the side here is you're gonna notice the uh, font styles and headings. So you can control all the font families and logos and colors and things. You also can control the background colors. You can control uh, the interior color, the outer color, you can have a background image in there. Uh, you have all the different controls you can imagine here. And then managing the page itself is just a, a quick uh, click and edit. So you can change everything you see here, you can make it all yours. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in the building of this just because uh, one, it's very simple to do uh, and easy. Um, you just use a little plus icon right here. You can add in images and uh, text speakers if you want, you can do location. Uh, you could do like a countdown widget. Let's say we did a countdown widget for uh, when the event's gonna happen. So I can choose a time in the future and then the countdown clock is on there. So what you can do on this builder page is just really phenomenal. Um, so I'm gonna leave that there for, for the moment. And then on the ticket levels, you can hit edit ticket levels here and you can uh, build as many tickets as you want. You can limit that supply for any individual ticket level as you want. You even can show how many is remaining in any level if you restrict it. And then the fees, uh, this is really important to note is that we charge you, the event organizer, the fees of flat 99 cents per ticket. Now you can add any fee you want and you can mark that up and you get to keep all of that. So if you wanted your fee to be uh, $5 plus 3%, all that money goes to you. So this is an amazing profit center for event organizers to recoup uh, money. Every cent counts during these times and so you get to do that uh, yourself and keep it. So choose whatever you like there. You can add additional ticket levels in here. And so you can add as many on there as you want. Also what's popular now as well is a donation ticket level as well. So if you want to maybe sell access to uh, your virtual event, but also want to have a donation optional ticket level there as well, you can do that and you can have um, either suggest amounts or you can have um, uh, specific amounts, whatever you like in there, um, it's up to you. So we're seeing a lot of that right now. And then uh, you can ask questions for certain ticket levels as well. So if you wanted to capture uh, a question for the second ticket level here, 
and maybe you want to capture their email, and then maybe you also wanted to capture uh, their name, you can do that. You also can have a survey question or a multiple choice. I mean, really, it's, it's incredible for all the flexibility that's there, but it's all optional. It's not a certain template that we require you to use. So um, that is the basics and mechanics of building a page. Um, I'm gonna go over and cheat a little bit and take you to the actual page I built here. So this is the LVI page, and you can tell everything here is the same controls. I just uploaded the logo there. Um, same controls here, the banner, the text, all this text is editable as you want. Very, very simple. And on here, I just kept my ticket levels very um, generic. I had general access and then also VIP, and the VIP comes with the meet and greet, and I'll show you how I do that in a second. So the coupon code, a uh, really important thing here to know um, is coupons is very easy to set up in terms of if you wanna issue comps. So we can have a comp code here. I'll just call it comp for now. And I can set it as a dollar amount or I can set it as a 100%. And then what's really cool on here too is I can actually limit that discount to a very specific ticket level if I want. So you can have as many coupon codes you want and you can provision them to partners and sponsors and have it only apply to certain people. So um, very, very easy to manage there. Uh, on actions here, this is where you can control some automated tools, uh, automatic discounts, early bird discounts, um, open up certain fields and questions based on answers. I won't go too deep into this, but I'll just give you an example. So if the date is before a certain date, we want to apply a discount, we'll call it 20% on the VIP access. And so I could save that. And now my page has an automatic discount for that. You could do this for quantity of tickets ordered. You have a whole lot of options there. So um, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. The confirmation page, you have control over what the text shows. You can have uh, pop-ups that prompt people to like on Facebook. Uh, you can have additional options to um, show any other uh, links on the page as well. If you wanna show QR codes and text deductible values, a whole bunch of probably more nerdy things than you guys need at this point, but just know there's really extensibility to the product here. And the same thing with the emails. I can go to the confirmation email. I can choose whether or not to send a confirmation email. You probably should. And then you can have um, all the, the customization with the subject line, who it's from, the blind karma copy email. And then you can also build scheduled reminders as well. So if you want to have an email that goes out one hour ahead of the event, you can set that. If you want an email to go out the uh, day before, if you want to have five emails, all the control is yours. Very, very powerful for you. Under promote, we've got several fun things here. One is to customize the what is shared and how it appears in social networks. So you can customize the title, uh, the shared image, and also the description. We also have something called social proof, which will show you recent uh, visitors to the page, recent purchases, so you can enable that or disable it, whatever you like. Ambassador program, I'm gonna leave this um, kind of unmentioned here, but basically it's a way for ticket buyers to earn a refund against their ticket purchase if they share the ticketing page uh, to friends and colleagues and family members and they buy tickets so they can basically accrue their money back. And then last here is the basic setup and settings. Uh, I can toggle this between an in-person online event. I've got all sorts of fun things here, SEO details. Um, I can restrict the page uh, based on date. I can restrict it based on password. I can do lots of great things. In addition to anybody who might be on your team that is trying to uh, track maybe paid ads or Google ads or Facebook ads. You have all the different tracking tools here that you could really want. So that is how you set up the basic registration page. Now, let's take a look at how you govern the virtual events area. So I'm gonna go over here to virtual, to the digital access area. And this is where we can configure all of the uh, settings and streams that are behind that paywall. So it gives me this area here and I can choose one that this event is happening on a very specific date, or if I want, I can choose an instant access. So if someone is, is uh, gonna access it ahead of time, here's what that's gonna look like. They'll get in, uh, but they're gonna see a countdown clock and they'll see the different things that are gonna be part of it, but they won't be able to access it because the time has not yet arrived. So um, they'll see that. And for the demo purpose here, I'm gonna move this over to instant just so that we can kind of explore it on the other side. But um, I'm gonna change that instant access. And then you also can remove access to a link on a certain time. So you can have this whole entire area be um, kind of invisible at a certain time if you like. So we have a, a initial page here that gives me the welcome, uh, kind of the landing page to enter the event. This is where it asks me for the token. Um, and if people have their ticket confirmation email, they can click a link right from there and it just jumps them straight in. They don't have to enter an uh, access token. 
Then uh, you have the text for what do you see once you're inside the area. And so I just left some basic text there. And then down here, you have all of the ways that you can configure your virtual experience. So on my example here, I have a embedded video. Now, right now, probably everyone that's watching this is thinking, how do I restrict that video to not be shared? And so if you wanna uh, know the best way to lock that down, email me, we can show you how that video will be trapped into this virtual experience area. They won't be able to share with anybody else. We know that monetizing the video is really important. So you can, um, uh, embed or give a link, but uh, we would re highly recommend an embed that we can enforce there, especially if it's a paid event. You can allow this uh, uh, area to be accessible at a specific date and time as well. So if you had multiple streams on there, you can restrict them by time. And then the important thing that's in here too, is I have a general live stream, and then I have two other options here that are restricted based on ticket level. So I have the option here of um, make this viewable, the songwriting process, uh, I'm gonna say, well, this is only accessible to VIP ticket holders. Uh, and then same thing with the meet and greet. Um, if I enable this, I can say only the VIP people can get access to the meet and greet there. So uh, this allows certain ticket holders to see these links if they exist for them, and they won't see it if not. And then you can continue to add more. So if you have several live streams maybe throughout the evening that have provisions for different ticket holders, you can add as many of those as you like. You also can add some on-demand content. Maybe it's um, some videos, maybe some audio files, and you also can add some digital downloads if you like. So lots of options there for you. And then if you wanna preview this, you also can just hit the preview digital access page. And so I see kind of what this is gonna look like. I can kind of simulate um, all these things as a ticket buyer. So now let me show you what the ticket purchasing experience is like. Um, so I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna hit publish, I'm happy with my event, I can launch it. I hit view publish page. Notice my countdown clock uh, is gone. I'm just gonna close these tabs real quick. So um, I can now get instant access to this. I see my little social proof down there. And I'm gonna choose two VIP tickets. And then I'm going to fill out my form here. I'll send you a link to this page and if you use card four with all ones, you'll be able to step through and purchase it just like uh, I have here. So then you hit, oh, I probably should fill out my expiration near there. All right, and then we hit submit. And then I get my confirmation page. I'm prompted with my Facebook like. And then we see here uh, my ticket levels and each one has a provisional access code. I can text this to a friend if I want. Um, I can email to them. I can do whatever I wanna to do to share it with other people, but they will only be able to use this once per IP address simultaneously. So even if they share it and they're trying to get more people in, they won't be able to do it because only one access code can be used at any given time. So um, since it's a, a instant access, I can hit digital pass and I'm instantly put into the live stream area right now. So I see that my uh, scheduled live stream with Vimeo is not quite yet uh, live, but I'm in there. So if this was uh, going on now, I'd be able to watch it. And then uh, because of my ticket level allowed me to have access to the other options, I can click over here and go through uh, the other available options here. So for example, here's my meet and greet. I see my description here. I'm given a certain password to get into the Zoom and I can launch that Zoom right now. So that is how you can control the digital events area, provision access to it, restrict it. Um, again, very powerful, very easy to use. Uh, and then managing the attendees is, is very easy. So if I go back here and I go to my orders, I can see here's my sample dummy order, here's Dwight. Uh, if I wanna add another ticket level to him, it's very, very easy. I can just hit ed edit order and I can add another ticket level, maybe for a general admission for a friend for him. And I can just simply charge the card on file. Uh, so it's very simple and easy. I also can move people around, uh, change their ticket levels. And, uh, and do that. I also can uh, cancel him, and I have several options for this. One is I can just cancel and, and do not refund. Um, I can do a cancellation, but issue him a coupon code for a future event in use, so that's there. Or you can do a partial amount, if you like, um, or you can do a full refund. So you've got several options in way of, of managing edits and cancellations, and it's very easy uh, to manage. So that's kind of the, the bulk of what I show you guys today. Uh, again, the sky's the limit with these things. We know that this, these are crazy times for you. Uh, if you have ideas, if you have use cases, if you've got 
challenges you're, you're, you're trying to sort through with the whole new virtual events uh, world we're in now, please email me. Uh, you'll be receiving an email from me shortly just asking you a quick follow-up on how it was. I'd love to hear back from you. Again, if you want to collaborate on what the future of virtual events looks like, we would love to hear from you. So thank you again for watching. We hope you are safe and healthy, and I uh, hope you enjoy this demo.